Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 84, Legacy Frontside Editor. When building out Power Apps Portals, there are a number of different interfaces that you can use. One of those is the Legacy Frontside Editor. The Legacy Frontside Editor refers to the functionality available to users who are logged into the portal with grant change permissions. Edit buttons become available for elements like the web page copy, content snippets, and web link sets. Many people consider this interface to be the easiest way to manage those types of content. However, more advanced configuration, like entity lists, entity forms, and web forms, is not possible via this experience. Permissions are controlled by creating web page access control rules with the grant change permission and website access permissions. These permissions are then assigned to contacts via web roles. The out of the box administrator web role comes pre configured with permissions to edit all of the pages on the portal. One thing that is great about the legacy front site editor is that since it updates the data via the portal itself, there's no need to worry about clearing the cache. This experience hasn't changed much over the years. I was still with ADX Studio when this functionality was introduced almost 10 years ago. It is pretty clear that the way of the future is the Portal Studio interface, but until these capabilities are removed, I expect they will continue to see use. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the PowerOps Portals tip number 84 on the Legacy Frontside Editor useful.